Hello friends. I'm excited to announce that Trite and myself are now working with Hydrovane. Hydrovane is the best self-steering gear on the planet. I've said that for a very long time. Um, they are just incredible. Completely self-contained, a massive auxiliary rudder, and everything you could possibly need without all the crazy control lines like a servo pendulum wind vane has associated with it. So. <clears throat> I was very excited when this project uh, came about and we're going to be working with them on testing out and field testing an upcycled unit. So Hydrovane has taken a older unit, rebuilt it, did a factory rebuild, replaced everything in it and sent it to us. And then I got it installed and we're going to be really putting it through the paces and testing it out. <clears throat> and so far it has been amazing. I had met Will and Sarah Curry several years ago back at Cal Yacht Club in Los Angeles. I was introduced to them by John Kretschmer at one of his book readings, and we had kept up with each other on social media um, since that time. And so I was very excited when this whole project kind of developed. Um, and Will told me that a number of people had reached out to them about like sp sponsoring Tritea. And um, one of those being my friend Mark from Killdragger. So Mark, thank you for looking out. Uh, Will and Sarah had said they had had this upcycle project that they had been working on and then asked if I wanted to be a part of it. So <clears throat> I was super stoked to be able to um, get one of their units and have it do all, handle all of Tritea's steering needs over, you know, the rest of the circumnavigation. And um, yeah, it, it is remarkable how simple hydrovanes are and how well they steer the boat. And to be honest, are there any better poster children than Trite and myself for an auxiliary rudder wind vane? I don't think so. But in all honesty, I am very honored to be working with them and thank you, Will and Sarah, for making this happen. Hydrovane has already made a, an excellent install video, like step-by-step, step. they guide you through the process and it's it's that's what I used. I watched the video over and over and I even like watched it as I was doing my install. So. This video isn't a traditional step-by-step -step because I don't like to make redundant videos and I, I wouldn't be able to make a video as well made as what they already have. So there's a card at the top of the pay, uh, video right now that sends you to that video. You can come back to it later. It's also, there's a link in the description of the video that takes you to that video for a proper, well shot how to install this on your boat. They have a bunch of different mounts for different types of boats, different transoms. Um, one of the amazing factors of hydro vanes is that it's the only wind vane on the market. You don't have to have dead center of the boat. You can have it offset if you have a swim step or something like that. So that is, that is pretty amazing. So this video just shows you some of the things that I encountered when installing with Dritea, some things that I did a little different maybe, and just like showing me going through the motions of putting it together. Um, <laughs> in various wild locations uh, here on Oahu. Um, as I mentioned in the video, this was shot over like a month period where I started the install here at the Alawai and then I had to haul out the boat. I did a little bit more during the haul out and then I finished the install at La Mariana Sailing Club, also in Honolulu. So um, there's a couple of different scene changes that take place and um, and since all of that, and since all this was shot, uh, I've actually sailed across the Molokai Channel and back, and the wind vane did remarkable steering the boat. Um, and I am just beyond pleased with its performance. So check out the video, and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Very exciting day on board Tritea. It's time to unbox all of the hydro vane, wind vane boxes, and I am super stoked. So let's get into it and see what these boxes are hiding. Okay, so we got everything unboxed. Let's check it out. We have our beautiful balanced rudder, which is very heavy. 
and awesome. Um, we have our vein frame. Look how tall this thing is. And I'm like seven feet tall. <laughs> Look at that, that thing is massive. We have our sock that goes on it. That goes on the, the frame. We have our two teak pads for the mounting, our control lines. We have our counterweight. Oh gosh, that thing is heavy. Our mounting bracket for the hole. The control unit. This is where all the magic happens. See? This is the control arm. That's what moves back and forth inside here. The beautiful shaft. Look at that thing. Gosh, that thing is gorgeous. And our final bracket. Look at that beast. So that's the pieces to the new wind vane. Um, I'm going to sit down with the manual now, go over it thoroughly, check out the, what it requires to install this, and um, get all my ducks in a row, and then we'll get to the install. Tritea sits very low in the water and has very low freeboard. So after getting the top bracket mounted, I double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked my measurements and then consulted with Will and the Hydrovane team to make sure that how I was going to install it and how I needed to install it was going to work out with the factory spec. Welcome to the future. Um, I had to do this install project in two different phases. Uh, I did as much as I could at the Alawai in um, Waikiki, and then I had to haul out um, to repair the rudder. And now I'm at La Mariana Marina, in uh, also in Honolulu, by the boatyard. Now, I took advantage of my time hauled out, and I created an epoxy bed for the lower bracket. I had shaped the timber pad as best I could to the shape of the transom, and I wasn't happy with it having sort of like a really uniform contact for the surface. So I went ahead and did like an epoxy bed, uh, a thickened epoxy, and I'll show you what that looks like dry. So that's how she looks now. That is like a nice, that's a really nice, solid, consistent surface between the timber pad and the transom all day long so that's that's good that's a really good option and i'm not concerned about it um there's paint between you know obviously i put the the epoxy was right over the paint if you're worried about damaging the paint of the transom or something then um you could put some kind of release agent tape or something but i wasn't worried about it. the back of my transom needs to be painted if at some point i had to remove this which I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future, then um, I would just sand down and repaint the transom. So now we're going to get to mounting the lower bracket um, with Sika Flex. And um, it's a little tricky because it's very windy and um, I'm so low, so that adds to the excitement. Uh, but we're going to get the seek on and then we're going to get the uh, bracket into place and then get inside and tighten it up. <laughs> Clean up the Sika Flex that's on the tape, and uh, everything's installed with that bracket. 
So it's time to finish the install of the hydrovane. This is the PVC stay, the like sacrificial test piece you use to find the actual distance and the length of your proper stainless stay. Here's the stainless stay that has been cut to size. Um, here's my little off cut. Hydrovane supplies you with this gorgeous beefy stock and then you cut it to whatever size you need. Um, I had to cut it with a hacksaw because I don't have a grinder and my Dremel burned out um, and I don't have access to get to a hardware store where I'm at right now. So I advise that you find a faster and easier way to cut through this really beefy stainless steel. But um, slow and steady wins the race, I got it done. So now it's time to get to installing this and move forward. on board back from Africa <laughs> diamond head looking beautiful okay so we are sailing it's happy sails are balanced we're in like 10 knots of wind we're gonna go ahead and try the hydro vane so I'm gonna get the vane lined up facing into the wind and then we'll activate her and see how she does. You point a little towards the diamond head. Yes. And then that one. Okay, how's that? What? Hold on. Go, go, Gusty. Go out of the wind. <laughs> oh, she's. Oh, she's. Okay, now let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. I let it go. I'm just like next to it. Good luck. Oh wow, it's clearing. Oh neat. <laughs> That's cool. That thing was overpowering. <laughs> no. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. So we have the hydro vane working. So yeah, she's doing her 
doing our job here. Keeping us on the wind. We're in like 11 knots of wind. This is kind of the perfect wind to test room. You can adjust the settings to be more responsive or less responsive, and we'll see. Since it's light wind, I think we went less responsive. We'll see. We'll do that. Let's see if she, what she does. Oh, now our wind died out. <laughs> so cool. Awesome. <laughs> Enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching, fair winds until next time.